Hi, my name is Love Makita and I write edgy Christian fiction for ladies who love God. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming here and visiting my coffee shop today. This is basically my living room. <laughs> it's my writing studio. It's basically the first place where you will learn anything there is to know about new releases, um, ideas bouncing around in my head, Bible studies that I'm reading. Ooh, character insight. This one came to me recently. I'm really excited about doing it, but I'm actually looking forward to doing character insight because there are whole parts of the story where you don't know what happened over summer. You don't know what someone's growth with God looked like over a certain period of time. And so recently I was thinking about Layla and how much she grew over the summer after something tragic happened to her. But we don't learn about that between book one and book two. So I wanted to, um, I wanted to start dropping some of that, that inside dialogue that she was having on her growth journey with Christ. I want to start dropping that somewhere. It's not necessarily going to be a book. It's not necessarily even going to be a novella. It's just going to probably be a blog post right here on my coffee page just for my my inner crew, <laughs> the inner insiders that are just hanging with me, rocking with me, loving edgy Christian fiction like I do. And I'm so glad that we're there. Let's talk a little bit about what is an edgy Christian fiction. Hmm. Um, in a nutshell, I write love stories for ladies who love God, but my characters are not perfect. They are very, very flawed. They love God and they love God to varying degrees. So some people are, um, some people are already there with their walk with Christ. They're just fine tuning. Not, hmm. I don't know if already there is a good word, but some people definitely have a relationship with Christ and they are working toward making it better and glorifying God through their everyday actions. Most of my characters, especially in book one suds, most of them are not at that place yet. They don't even start broaching that area until book two, Milk Bath. Um, and it was really important to me to write about characters who are on their journey with Christ while they are in the world with their friends who are not. So um, that's one of the things that I write about. Because my characters are not perfect, they do a lot of non-wholesome activities. Let's put it that way. They're very um, relatable in the sense that they make a lot of mistakes. They're relatable in the sense that they choose to make their mistakes in spite of, choose their decisions in spite of loving God. And they're very, um, and they go back to God. They, they fall back at the throne. You see it in varying degrees based on which, where each character is in their walk with God. So that's why I tag my writing as edgy Christian fiction. It's not wholesome enough to just be called Christian because I don't show perfect characters and I don't show the buttoned up version of people. My characters are very raw. They're very um, authentic to how we behave when we are growing in Christ. And even when we don't want to grow in Christ, we just wanna say, God, I love you, but I'm still gonna do this. So um, I definitely wanted to also add edgy because I don't want, I don't want, um, secular readers, someone who's used to something more more brash to come across my story and not know they're reading a Christian story. So it, it's very important to me because I'm, we're going to talk about God. <laughs> we're going to talk about the Holy Spirit. We're going to talk about temptation. We're going to talk about all that stuff in my love stories. And I just kind of wanted it to be clear to everyone who was looking and considering reading my love stories that yes this is a christian love story and to anyone that's christian yes this is an edgy christian love story so um so maybe you might want to read it before you let your little girl read it you know what i'm saying maybe you want to maybe you want mom maybe you want to take a quick pass at it before you let your 15 year old read it and that's although if you saw what most of our 15 year olds are reading we're not going to talk about what I was reading at 15, but let's carry on. <laughs> um, but that's what I do. This is my genre. I write edgy Christian fiction. The Sud series. Oh my gosh, I started Suds almost a decade ago. Mm. And um, revisited it last year just as a fun project to do and ended up 
growing her into a series. I am so surprised by the twists and the turns that the characters took. And I am, I'm really excited for you to read, to read the Sud series. I'm really, I really think that the characters have grown so much since the first time and that it's just a really fun love story. That's what I do. I love, I love, 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 love stories. I love when couples get together. I love when there's the height of everything going perfect and then the low of everything crashing and burning. I just, I am a sucker for a good love story. The ups, the downs, the in-betweens. And that's what I do. And you're welcome to join me. So inside this coffee shop, inside this coffee shop, this is where I will be selecting my beta readers moving forward. Right now we have Milk Bath is out. She's coming out. Well, we have Suds is out. Milk Bath is coming next. And then Pure is in progress right now. So my beta readers will be able to access Pure before it's actually published. Because I want to know what you think as I'm writing. I don't like writing in a silo. So I definitely allow my beta readers to join me and they end up becoming like some of the best um, they and they're like the best people to balance my thoughts and my ideas off of. So this really is where I want to start doing that. This is where I want to start having those dialogues inside this coffee shop. And not to mention when you are ready to purchase your copy of Suds and Milk Bath or any other uh, product that I put out, any other book that I put out. This is where you will be able to purchase an autographed copy. Shut the front door. No, I will not. This is where I'll be issuing all of my autographed copies. So definitely, definitely, definitely follow this coffee shop. Check me out at www.mysweetstudio.com and stay in touch. I'm so happy that you're here. Have a great day. Bye-bye.